how do you sum up somebody's life that has been ripped away from you? A San Diego mother is preparing to speak to her son's killer at his sentencing in just a few days. Justin Hammer is expected to get life in prison for murdering and then dismembering Brandon Duran's body in Oklahoma. 10 News first brought you the guilty verdict back in July. And now reporter Matt Mendez joins us with the mother's desperate plea for custody of her grandson. That's right. Cindy Ware says she hasn't been able to fully grieve her son's death because she's been fighting for the custody of her grandson, seven year old Brando. She says this case is far from over and believes her son's ex girlfriend also played a role in his murder. I'm telling him that he's not worth the spit to shine a shoe. That's just one of many things Cindy Ware is planning to tell her son's killer on Monday. Back in July, an Oklahoma jury convicted Justin Hammer of murdering, dismembering, and then dumping Brandon Duran's body in a lake. There is no closure. I can't mourn my son yet. Hammer was the boyfriend of Duran's girlfriend, Amber Andrews. Ware says Andrews got Duran to move from San Diego to Oklahoma so their seven-year-old son, Brando, could meet his other family. Well, she came out and, and promised my son the moon. And then he went back and was murdered August 7th, 2012. Since Duran's death, Oklahoma Department of Human Services took custody of Brando. They say so he could be reunited and visit with his mother on a regular basis. But get this, Garvin County DA's office says Andrews is being investigated in Duran's murder. The scab is ripped off continuously. Ware has set up a GoFundMe account to pay for attorney fees to get little Brando back. She's trying to raise $15,000 and as of Friday afternoon only has 650. She says it's one headache after another at a time when she's supposed to be grieving. I won't watch my son hold his first grandchild. There is so much. And I said, but the only thing that I take solace in is the fact that you, Justin Hammer, won't see those things either. We left messages with Hammer's attorney but have not heard back. Hammer is expected to get life in prison without the possibility of parole. And count on 10 News to stay on top of this sentencing and bring you the very latest on Monday. Matt Mendes, 10 News.